Ooh, every day is a blessing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you at. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. You woke up to God be the glory, amen. Get on your knees, say them praise. <laughs> Y'all know what's up, right? You gonna do a reading out loud? Supposed to do one yesterday. While the camera was too hot, the phone was too hot, so I had to wait. And I had to wait a long time. So you saw me try to put some work in between all that. So we got we uh yesterday's uh chapter, which is Revelation chapter eighteen and today's chapter, Revelation nineteen. So I'm 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 gonna do today's first and then go back to the 18th. Alright. And uh if if the camera don't get cut off, I do yesterday's song and today's song. Yeah. So that would be five and six, right? I think I think it's five and six. Alright. So we didn't all allow Revelation chapter nineteen. That's what we bookmarked that right now. Today, day, February 19th, 2022, right? Right. According to the man-made calendar, yeah, it's February 19th. Okay, so. Um, and then, then we go to Revelation 18, and then we'll do this, the Psalms from yesterday and the Psalms for today. In Jesus Christ's name, let's pray. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come to you humbly, but boldly, thanking you for every breath and every heartbeat and every organ functioning in this body. You bless us to, to carry out your will and your work for us. Thank you for teaching us obedience to instruction so that none will suffer lack, but all will come to fulfillment according to your wishes and glory. And we pray for every listener, viewer, and, and anyone that's paying attention to this message and video. We pray that they will be healed quickly, swiftly. You, Lord Jesus, making yourself clear. You waste no time on those who call your name, Jesus, the Christ, Lord and Savior. Father God, we come to you thanking you for the opportunity to open up your Holy Bible, open you up and partake of your goodness and to share it with those around it so that they will know that Jesus is Lord and the devil is a liar and he has no place when more you say or do anywhere near your creation ever again. And by our obedience to your will, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to give that same pressure to our enemies with prayer, not with evil, but with prayer and by your wisdom and knowledge, that every way it way, word for word, that it will hit that enemy in that dark place, to put your word, your righteousness in that dark place, to make it light again, make it innocent and tender again, so we can get rid of all corruption, wickedness, and evil. And thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to pray this prayer. And may you be glorified, uplifted, and exalted in it. Nothing less. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. All right, reading out loud, Revelation chapter 19. Y'all ready? All right, work with me. If the phone cut off, forgive me, all right? Forgive me, all right? Revelation chapter 19, verse 1. Come here. Title, Those in Heaven Praise God. Verse 1, and after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven, coming, saying, coming, hallelujah, Some salvation, coming, and glory, coming, and honor, coming, and power, coming, unto the Lord our God, coming. Verse 2, for true and righteous are his judgment, coming. For he hath judged the great whore, comma, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, comma, 
and hath avenged the blood of his servant at her hand. Period. Verse 3. And again they said, Come on. Alleluia. Period. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. Period. Verse 4. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne. Come on. Saying, Come on. Amen. Then we call it. Alleluia. Period. Verse 5. And the word came out of the throne. Come and sing. Come and praise our God. Come and all ye his son. Come and ye that fear him. Come both small and great. Period. Thank you for Title The Marriage Supper, Supper of the Lamb. The Marriage Supper of the Lamb. Verse 6. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude. Come and as the voice. Of many waters, comma, and as the voice of mighty thundering, comma, saying, comma, hallelujah, coming, for the Lord God omnipotent reigning, period. Verse 7. Let us be glad and rejoice, comma, and give honor to him, colon, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, comma, and his wife hath made herself ready. Period. Verse 8. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen. Comma. Clean and white. Curly. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Period. Verse 9. And he saith unto me. Comma. Write. Comma. Blessed are they which are called unto the, the marriage supper of the Lamb. Period. And he saith unto me. Comma. These are the true things of God. Period. Verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Period. And he said unto, unto me, Come, see thou do it not, Colin. I am thy fellow servant, Come, and of thy brethren, that have the testimony of Jesus, Colin. Worship God, Colin. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Period. Title The Rider on the White House. I mean the Rider on the White Horse. Sorry about that. Verse eleven. And I saw heaven open, comma, and behold a white horse, semicolon. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, comma, and in righteousness. He doth judge and make war. Period. Verse 12, his eyes were as a flame of fire, comma, and on, it, on his head were many crowns, semicolon, and he had a name written, comma, that no man knew, comma, but he himself, paid. Verse 13, and he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood, comma, and his name is called the, the Word of God, period. Verse 14, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, comma, clothed in fine linen, comma, white and clean, period. Verse 15. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, comma, that with it he should smite the nation, curling, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron, curling, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, period. Verse 16. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, comma, King of Kings, comma, and Lord of Lords, period. All cap, period. Verse 17. And I saw an angel standing in the stand, semicolon, and he cried with a loud voice, comma, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of, the, of heaven, Come, come and gather yourself together unto the supper of the great God. Semicolon. Verse 18. That ye may eat the flesh of the king, come, and the flesh and the flesh of captain, come, and the flesh of mighty men, come, and the flesh of horses, come, and of them that sit on them, come, and the flesh of the armen, come, both free and bond, come. 
both small and great. Period. Verse 19. And I saw the beasts coming, and the kings of the earth coming, and their army coming, gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse coming, and against his army. Period. Verse 20. And the beast was taken, coming, and with him the first prophet that wrought miracles before him, coming, which with, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, coming, and them that worshipped his image. Period. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Period. Let me read verse 20 again. And the beast was taken, coming, and with him the first prophet that wrought miracles before him, coming, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, coming, and them that worshipped his image, period. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone, period. Verse 21. And the remnant were, sh were slain, with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, coming, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, curly, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh, period. Oh, uh, that's the end. Oh, uh, that's the end. Verse 21 is the end. Let me read verse 21 again. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, coming which sword proceeded out of his mouth, curling, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh, period. Cookie. That's the end of Revelation chapter 19. All right, now let's go back to 18. Revelation 18. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to partake in reading your word again, getting that good snack, entree, buffet, Wonderful feet, heaven on earth, inside this earthen vessel, as you see fit for your king. And I pray that the listening viewer will be healed quickly, swiftly. You, Lord Jesus Christ, not wasting no time, making yourself clear to those you call on you. And I pray that as they call on you, that they understand to continue drawing close to our Heavenly Father, Abba, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, my rock. Fortress, Lord, thank you for each and every breath and every heartbeat and every organ functioning in this body. That as we read word for word of Revelation 18 and the Psalm, that the listening viewer will be quickly inspired, motivated, uplifted, enough to uplift another, share it with another, and don't stop sharing the truth which hit the heart mind, body, soul, and spirit in a different way that's never been felt before. And they know the difference because it gets them excited to draw closely to you, Father. And I pray that they say lit on fire for you and your word and your will for our life so that you may be glorified, uplifted, and exalted in all your king. In Jesus' name, thank you. Thank God. Amen. Amen again. Uh, y'all ready? Revelation 18. Alright, y'all did yet? Cookies. Trying to get this junk in before I get cut off. The camera be lunching, man. Revelation chapter 18. Title The Fall of Babylon. Uh oh. Verse 1. And after these things, I saw an, another angel come down from heaven, come and having great power. Them curse. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Period. Verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Comma. Saying. Comma. Babylon the great is fallen. Comma. Is fallen. Comma. And it become the habitation of, the, of devil. Comma. And the hold of every foul spirit. Comma. And the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Period. Verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her, her fornication, comma, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, comma, and the merchant 
of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. Period. Verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven, come, saying, come, come out of her, come, my people, come, that ye be not partakers of her sin, come, and that ye receive not of her plague. Period. Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, come, and God hath remembered her iniquity. Period. Verse 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Common, and double unto her, double according to her work, Colin, in the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double, period. Verse 7, how much she hath glorified herself, comma, and lived deliciously, comma, so much torment and sorrow give her, Colin, for she saith in her heart, comma, I sit a queen. Comma, and am no widow, comma, and shall see no sorrow, period. Verse 8. Therefore shall her plague come in one day, comma, death, comma, and mourning, comma, and famine, semicolon, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, comma, for strong is the Lord God who judges her, period. Verse 9. And the kings of the earth, comma, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, comma, shall bewail her, comma, and lament for her, comma, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, comma. Verse 10, standing, up, stand, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, comma, saying, comma, Allah, comma, Allah, comma. That great city Babylon, comma, that mighty city, exclamation point, for in one hour is thy judgment come, period. Verse 11, and the merchant of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, semicolon, for no man by the merchandise anymore, colon. Verse 12, the merchandise of gold, comma, and silver, comma, and precious stones. Comma, and a pearl, comma, and fine linen, comma, and purple, comma, and silk, comma, and scarlet, comma, and all fine wood, comma, and all manner vessels of ivory, comma, and all manner vessels of most precious wood, comma, and a brass, comma, and iron, comma, and marble, comma, verse 13, and cinnamon, comma, and odors, comma, and ointment, comma, and frankincense, comma, and wine, comma, and oil, comma, and fine flour, comma, and wheat, comma, and beef, comma, and sheep, comma, and horses, comma, and chariot, comma, and slaves, comma, and souls of men. Okay, verse 14. Excuse me. <clears throat> and the fruits that thy soul left it after are departed from thee, comma, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, comma, and thou shalt find them no more at all, period. Verse 15. The merchants of these things, comma, which were made rich by her, comma, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, comma, weeping and wailing. Comma, verse 16, and saying, comma, alas, comma, alas, comma, that great city, comma, that was clothed in fine linen, comma, and purple, comma, and scarlet, comma, and decked with gold, comma, and precious stone, comma, and pearls, exclamation point. Verse 17, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught. Curly. And every, wow, that's the hawk. That's the, I'm sorry, y'all. That hawk is floating in the air. And something just stay lit. All right, back to verse 17. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. Period. And every shipmaster, comma, and all the company in ship, comma, and sailor, comma, and as many as trade by sea, comma, stood afar off. 
Karma Stifle fit verse 18 and cried when they saw the smoke of her burnt her, of her burning. Go back, verse 18 and cried when they saw the smoke of her burnt burning. Karma saying, Karma, what city is like unto unto this great city? Exclamation point. Verse 19. And they caused death on their head, comma, and cried, comma, weeping and wailing, comma, saying, comma, alas, comma, alas, comma, that great city, comma, wherein were made rich all that had shipped in the sea by reason for her costliness, exclamation point. For in one hour is she made desolate, period. Verse 20. Rejoice over her, come, thou heaven, come, and yea, holy a prophet and prophet, let me come, for God hath avenged you on her. Period. Verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone, like a great millstone, come, and cast it into the sea, come, saying, come, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. Comma, and shall be found no more at all. Period. Verse 22. And the voice of harpers, comma, and musicians, comma, and the pipers, comma, and trumpeters, comma, shall be heard no more at all in the semicolon. And no craftsman, comma, or what of, of whatsoever craft he be, comma, shall be found any more in the semicolon. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in the semicolon. Verse 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in the semicolon. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in the colon. For thy mercy was the great men of the earth. Simicus, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Period. Verse 24. And in her was found the blood of prophet, comma, and of saint, comma, and of all that was slain upon the earth. Period. Well, right at the end of Revelation chapter 18. The fall of Babylon. Good. Come on. Spiritually, you should feel that right now. No way to the physical hit. You be like, yeah, that's why I say spiritual. You need to eat your food so you don't be starving, thirsty. You know, needing wisdom and knowledge. Put the guns down. You see what they saying about the, the guns? They ain't gonna last. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. Well, God knows the ending. From the beginning, you better put that gun down and pick this holy Bible at. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Keep reading, keep flying at. Don't look down, man. If you ain't healed yet, go back and reread it. After we read Psalms, what, chapter 5 and 6? Yeah, after we read Psalms, Psalm chapter 5, who is it, 6? Now, do you remember which one? Which one it is? Yeah, so I'm gonna read chapter, uh, Psalm chapter 6 first, and then go back to 5. Alright, so we're gonna do Psalm, I mean, Psalm chapter 6. Alright. Wait, what's it for? Five? I'm going to read 4, 5, and 6 for y'all, okay? Because I, I don't remember. I, don't, I ain't write it down. And if I go back on it, I might cut the camera up by accident. So, so Psalm chapter, uh, I think, I think we're going to do, I'm going to do Psalm chapter 6. The Holy Spirit playing with me, yeah. hey. Psalm chapter 6, and then we're going to do Psalm chapter 5. Yeah. Cook! All right, let's pray, yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, 
Lord Jesus, we come to you humbly but boldly. Thank you. Thanking you for the opportunity that you've woken us up today. Thank you to we worship and praise your holy name and everything you can with. Thank you for the opportunity to read your word forward. Psalm chapter 6, chapter 5. And I pray that the listener in here will be healed quickly, inspired, motivated to draw closely to you, Father. After they feel their healing, may they be lit and fire to continue seeking your face. Opera, Father, Holy Creator, Sovereign God, Wonderful Counselor, thank you for giving us wisdom and knowledge in every way we read our life, so that we may be fulfilled and equipped in righteousness against the evil and wicked. That way we can be of obedience, showing clear. That Jesus is Lord and the devil is a liar and he has no place, memorial say, in this world ever again. And I pray that all those who are Lord will cling to you after the prayer is prayed so that they will see the light, feel the light, and run to it, and cling to it. Keep Jesus Christ as he kept us first. And Father God, thank you for every breath and every heartbeat. And every organ functioning in this body, connecting bones, singing your praises forevermore. Thank you for the opportunity to dance on anything for your life, Lord. May everything worship and praise you, Lord. May everything glorify you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Okay. Psalm chapter 6. Psalm chapter 6. Y'all there yet? We're going to do that first. Psalm chapter 6, title, A Prayer for Mercy to the Chief Musician with Strange Instruments upon Sheminet, comma, a Psalm of David. Okay. Verse 1. O oh Lord, comma, rebuke me not in thine anger, comma, neither chaste me in thy hot displeasure, period. Verse 2, have mercy upon me, comma, O Lord, semicolon, for I am weak, colon, O Lord, comma, heal me, semicolon, for my bones are vexed, period. Verse 3, my soul is also sore vexed, colon, but thou, comma, O Lord, comma, how long? Question 1. Verse 4, we turn. Comma, O oh Lord, comma, deliver my soul, comma, O oh, save me for thy mercy's sake, period. Verse 5, for in death there is no remembrance of thee, comma, in the grave who shall give thee thanks, question mark. Verse 6, I am weary with my groaning, semicolon, all the night make I my bed, to swim, semicolon. I water my couch with my tears, period. Verse 7. Mine eye is consumed because of grief, semicolon. It waxes old because of all mine enemies, period. Verse 8. Depart from me, comma, all ye workers of iniquity, semicolon. For the Lord have heard the voice of my weeping. Period. Verse 9. The Lord hath heard my supplication. Semicolon. The Lord will receive my prayer. Period. Verse 10. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Colon. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Period. Oh, that's it. That's the end of Psalm chapter 6. David is not playing. Man. Wow, man. Put the gun down, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Put the Holy Bible at. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, keep reading. Keep flying at. Man. You do not want to go to hell. Man. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Y'all not, y'all not big and bad, bro. You not gangster, bro. You not, man. You not, man. Stop faking, bro. It's not going to work. 
I'm playing for y'all right now before we read chapter, chapter 5. Psalm chapter 5 in the Holy Bible. Not just the Bible, the Holy Bible. 3, 4, 5. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you thanking you for the opportunity to come to you. Bow down to you. Give you all the praise and glory and everything we can with because you created us for your purpose, not our own agenda. And thank you for it. reminding us, chastising us, breaking us down and making us back up according to your perfect purpose for our life and your, and your creation and your masterpiece and your doing, Father. Through this spiritual realm, entering this earth and vessel, I pray that every breath you bless me with and every heartbeat you bless me with, according to your wishes and glory, that every word spoken, that the listener will be healed quickly as we read, as we read word for word, that they will be healed quickly, swiftly, inspired, motivated, uplifted, giving you all the praise quickly. Understanding that Jesus is Lord and the devil has no place, memorial, say or do. No more lies, no more wickedness, no more darkness, no more place for evil. And thank you, Lord, for giving us the chance to reach our word so we can be equipped to shun all the darkness in all the ways of the devil so that those who are still lost will be will be saved, and those who are held captive will held the captivity captive, as Jesus did, taking those from the pit out of those, those who died for Jesus, may they be redeemed again spiritually, uplifted again, to continue to save those around them, or wherever you bless them to go, and that Jesus is Lord will be spoken all over your earth. Nothing less. And thank you for this opportunity to pray this prayer that every word spoken will stir up the individual, the collective as a whole, and the body of Christ and give you what you have given us. I thank you, Lord. I thank you in every breath, Lord. A celebration in every breath, Lord. A bow down in every breath, Lord, because Jesus is Lord. God the Father, the Apple, is all things. We are nothing without you, Father. And so we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. I don't take you for granted. You shouldn't take yourself for granted. You feel me? There's a purpose for it. Psalm chapter 5. Y'all ready? Y'all there yet? Alright, here we go. Psalm chapter 5, titled, A Prayer for Protection. See, protecting, you see. A Prayer for Protection to the Chief Musician with Wind Instrument. I don't know if they say wind instrument or wine instrument. Wind instrument, comma, a Psalm of David. Verse 1. Give ear to my words, comma, O Lord. Then we come. Consider my meditation. Period. Verse 2. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, comma, my king, comma, and my God. For unto for unto thee will I pray. Period. Verse 3. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, comma, O Lord. Then we come. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, comma, and will look up. Hey, verse 4. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, comma, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Hey, verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, comma, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Hey, Verse 6, Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing, colon. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Period. Verse 7, But as for me, comma, 
I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, come, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple, period. Verse 8, lead me, comma, O Lord, comma, in thy righteousness because of mine enemy, semicolon. Make thy way straight before my face, period. Verse 9. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Simicum. Their inward part is very wickedness. Simicum. Their throat is an open sepulcher. Simicum. They flatter with their tongue. Period. Verse 10. Destroy thou them, comma, O God. Simicum. Let them fall by their own counsel. Simicum. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgression, semicolon, for they have rebelled against thee, period. Verse 11, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice, colon, let them ever shout for joy, comma, because thou defendest them, colon, let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, period. Verse 12, for thou, comma, Lord, comma, will bless the righteous, semicolon, with favor, with thou compass, with favor, will thou compass him, compass him as with the shield, period. Let me read verse 12 again. For thou, comma, Lord, comma, will bless the righteous, semicolon, with favor, will thou compass him as with the shield. Or will thou compass him as with the ship? Period. I'm thinking either way you could say compass or compass him. Wow, man. I pray y'all healed. If not, now go back and reread it and get all that good food up in there. And let me know when you fall in that. I love serving. In case you haven't noticed, serving is life. You feel me? Get that food in there and no, don't, no, don't, no, don't, no, don't stop your taste buds of that spiritual goodness. You missing the whole carnival cruise line right there. Yeah, I said a whole carnival cruise. Eating that food, you know, I'm trying to tell you. you know. Oh, put that gun down, yeah. <laughs> Pick this up. Oh, there it goes, man. Jesus Christ, man. Keep reading, keep flying that. Please, you know, back in here. And I want to say happy birthday, DJ, early. I want to say it to you early today. Happy birthday to you. Go, DJ, go, DJ, go. Happy eighth birthday, man. Be good, okay? And don't forget to say your prayers. I'm praying for you. Hi, Sherry, Harmony, Jalen. Make sure y'all look out for each other. Don't forget to say your grace all the time. And say your prayers if you don't know what to do. Call on Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. <laughs> Amen again. One love and peace. And another one.